Yo, yo, mi chipanseco tlok dish, pa mi saludos y respetos, full blast. Greetings to all my gente out there. Hopefully everyone's having a good day. My name is Manny, and I'm the Jaguar Man. Mucho gusto. Just so you know, this is the channel, homie, where we make homies never break. Every now and then, homie, I'ma come in with a little coscorron. But uh, yeah, sabes que, at the end of the day, we're just trying to lace up the little homies. Maybe a late bloomer doing things that are questionable well let me tell you homie for the record i don't know it all every day i learn something new and hey as we go we're gonna learn from one another just like iron sharpens iron you know let's get straight to the point today we're gonna talk about the lapd stripper how does that sound man that shit sounds crazy huh Eagle stories of 40s it's a trip very uh, uh, hard to believe. I mean, hey, never judge a book by its cover. You'll be amazed of what happens out on the streets. Homie, homegirl, before we kick it off, you know the ritual. Kick up your feet, lean back, relax, uh, spark up your chorrito, open up your pistol, and enjoy the show. Well, it was one of those firme summer nights. A Sunday, we all know it's a fun day. It was me and my homeboy, uh, shy boy, rest in peace. May God have him in his glory. And um, that was my raw dog, man. Back in the days, he taught me a lot. He was uh, a few years older than me. I was the young homie at that time. Let's see. I think, I believe it was the year of 1996 or 97. One of those there. He was freshly out of YA, I was what, 15, 16 years old, he was about 21, 22, he had a vehicle, so I was uh, the young homie riding shotgun all the time, entiendes, and so, man, I missed the homie, man, uh, I learned a lot from him, we went through a lot together, and let me tell you, man, it was one feed me Sunday afternoon, I was chilling, and we met some hyenas prior to this day, and we set up, a, a, you could say, uh, not a date, but, hey, we set up somewhere to go vibe, chill, kick back, relax. And um, at the time, the hood was hot, so we were like, fuck, let's go to Hanson Dam. Oh, shit. And yep, city of Pacas. I think the Hainas had a vehicle. It was uh, two or, I think it was three Hainas. And, and, and me and my homeboy, Shy Boy, so we decided to kick back, chill, pull up. They pulled up. Those of you who know where Hanson Dam is at, it's in the city of Pacoima. Um, uh, many years ago, it was a lake. It dried up. There's a, a, a walkway, a path where people uh, tend to go and walk. They call it the Mayo, La Milla. My grandparents, my jefito, uh, my uncles would uh, go and run, jog, hike. Hey, you got all sorts of people in and out of that place. One thing about Hanson Dam, they have different locations. They have the the top part, the bottom part. And now, I mean, back in the late 90s, early, mid 90s, they made a, a, a man-made lake uh, where people go fishing, take their little boats and go, carne asada. And they have another section where um, people have horses. They bring the tamborazo. Um, they get their drink on, the they, trocas, picking up dust, going in circles. What all this madre? Come on, man. We were in the city of Pacuema, man. For those of you who know, no. We we chilling, we vibing. Um, we turn up the music. You know, I was young, dumb, experiencing many things. And we was drinking. We Everybody had a 40 ounce. Uh, we were bumping music and, and, you know, having a good time. You know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, um, as we're drinking to this old school beat, to the old school music, me and my homeboy Shaibo were on the side over here smoking the frio. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that's PCP, a.k.a. Sherm. Well, you know, Pacoma's known to have that bomb juice, man, the bomb water. Dipping the frajo, uh, slow motion. Uh, getting so high, you hear the motherfucking telephone wires, the elect electrical wires. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, so, yeah, man, we're just kicking back. Y'all saw us having a good time. All of a sudden, we see a black and white coming real slow, like, shy wing. 
I mean, and my homeboy were stashing things, we're putting shit away, we're over here panicados, like, damn, okay, because, you know, we're chilling, we're in the hood, you gotta be prepared, you gotta be ready just in case somebody wanna act up, you gotta stay ready. We're not looking for problems, but, you know, it's better to be safe than not. We see the fucking black and white eyeballing, breaking his motherfucking neck, he was by himself, so he busts a U-turn, so that, even though we were high as fuck, it got our heart fucking skipping a beat, man. Panicados a la chingada. Cause you know, that's one thing about, about us essays. Even though we're not doing nothing wrong, we're not breaking the law. Man, just seeing the placa, it's all bad. Right away, man, our mind starts tripping. Maybe it's PTSD. We, we, we've been through some, you know, unfortunate situations where back in the days, we would get harassed too much. You know, a motherfucking crash unit will cruise by the hood. Right away, put us against the wall or on our knees, take pictures, and put us on file. You know, routine, I guess. Part of being a fucking little desmadroso. So, ahí estamos. Having a good time. Vibing. Black and white pulls up. The vato gets off. He was, I remember, even though I was kind of faded, uh, he was a tall gentleman. Light-skinned, like Puerto Rican, Cuban. I remember he pulled up and, and he seen probably our faces right away. Like, whoa. So he was right away. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. Hey, hey. Don't let the uniform fool you, he said. You know, those were his exact words. Don't let the uniform fool you. The, he said, I'm just here for a good time. Me and Scheiber like, that was some bomb sherm, homie. Like, ooh, wait, wait. Are we tripping? Is this real? I mean, is this about the real? Like, this is the fucking Huda. Black and white, LAPD, motherfucker pulling up, talking about he's here for a good time. Get, who sent this Vaton invitation? Shit. <laughs> and the items were tambien. I seen them a little confused, like, wait a minute, man. You know, these motherfuckers got friends in the LAPD? Shoot. Hell no. It was very awkward. And being a little uncomfortable, he felt the temperature just being a little uncomfortable, a little too hot word like whoa wait a minute i maybe gotta prove myself to let them know that i'm here for with good intentions just to have fun i mean, kind of remember he said something about him being from the east coast i'm not sure if he was from new york or florida he came to cali you know because i guess like a lot of people that are from out of state they one day want to come to California. They get uh, inspired by the spotlight, Hollywood, the attraction, the celebrity status. Yeah, the dude was really trying to have fun. He was trying to make friends. It's going to be kind of hard to make friends like us that are from the street, from the hood. You know what I'm saying? And he started taking off his shirt, his top. He took off his badge. He put away his gun, his bell, he took it off. Remember this, the music was playing, it was bumpy. The hyenas were starting to groove, you know, side to side. Me and Shy Boy were like, fuck, like, those of you who, who know the effects of Sherm, you know, you get stuck on stupid, kind of. But I mean, we smoked it to the point of not getting too dumb or stupid or stuck. Mind this, you were in a public setting, so you gotta be on your toes. Knowing Shy Boy, Shy Boy was very military-minded, always on his toes. Always having a exit strategy, always having an emergency plan just in case enemigos pull up. So I'm over here trying to hold on to myself, drinking my kawama, not believing what the fuck's going on. These hyenas are over here, you know, dancing, you know, uh, seductive. The LAPD officer starts taking off his clothes. He ended up giving this hyena a lap dance to the point where he, this fool, got undressed literally this vato got undressed i'm like whoa what the fuck me and shy boy went around the corner and spoke about a fucking lanyo from a little distance so we let the officer and the highness right there do their thing we're tripping out it's like damn okay man this shit's real this is for real this motherfucker's on his chonies fucking He's giving these highness a lap dance like this hooda literally i thought it was like a fake motherfucking you know how sometimes some of these strippers fucking put on costumes show up to a party as an officer as a doctor as a fireman i mean i'm like whoa wait a minute man we got set up here these hyenas did you guys call this for what what the fuck whose party is this i, mean, I thought it was supposed to be a kickback <laughs> yeah this bottle started doing this thing my motherfucker became el zaro you know <laughs> that shit was funny man so 
whatever happened happened we're faded this fool was for real man this fool wanted to have a good time he was from out of state he was bored he pulled up i guess he's seeing that we were vibing having a good tiempo he wanted to be part of it so like true g's that we are we let it go fuck it the highness got whatever i don't know if they exchanged numbers or what but at the end of the day it was Man. over Dispensa, i'm gonna continue the video it's a different day but we're going back to hansen damn the lapd stripper a few years went by i think uh, i got locked up i went to juvenile the hall i got a little campo tiempo I ended up in challenger mcnair uh, nine months, I believe. I, I come out from Camp Months. And at this time, I'm staying in Rosemead. Rosemead, California. San Gabriel Valley. Shout out to the Raza out there. Early morning, it's the weekend. I get a knock on the door. My head fuck calls me. She's like, hey, there's a detective at the door. Wanted to speak to you. He me dice, my head is like, cabrón, you getting yourself in trouble again? I'm like, Nah, ma, come on. Let me go see what's up. The lady introduces herself. She's like, I'm detective so-and-so. Uh, you know, right away off the back, she's like, you're not in trouble. I just want to ask a few questions regarding a pending case, a civil case. I'm like, okay, whatever. She comes in. I got my family there, you know, as well in the living room listening. And they're asking me about this LAPD officer. They wanted to know what I seen, what happened, was it true that he came off his clothes? I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, this shit is true. God damn it, this motherfucker was a cop. Chinga, okay. Oh, yo, part three, part three, these spent up, man. Anyhow, stories in 40s, man, back to this um, LAPD stripper. This dude was really a crime fighter. He stripped down all the way to his tarantarans. <laughs> Híjole, damn. Tarantaran, ta 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 <laughs> Yeah, man. Pinche crime fighter, motherfucker, hijo de la verga. So I'm talking to the detective. She asked me a few questions. And to be honest, I mean, at the time, I was just kind of like out of my mind. I, I was not thinking. I, you know, I thought it was just kind of like a dream because uh, we were high. Me and my own Bushaibu were shermed out. So, I mean, it wasn't something that I woke up the next day thinking about. Yeah, I was kind of like in shock. Who could say they fucking witnessed uh, a real LAPD officer pull up and I don't know where come off his clothes just because he wanted to have a good time. That's basically what it was. Long story short, my homeboy, uh, shy boy he started getting locked up he was older so he went out to the county i believe he picked up a prison term i believe uh i spoke to him over the phone and he was telling me that at the time he was in i'm not sure if he was in centinella or ironwood the detective went to go pull him out and interview him as well he said he was just in shock, like, whoa, wait a minute, okay. It's hard to explain, it's just like, almost like deja vu type of shit, okay, okay, this really happened, but not really sure if it did, because I think, I mean, I don't, after that, I don't, we, we, I mean, I never spoke to them, them hyenas ever again. So trip out on this, okay, now, here I am now, moving on with my life, I'm working for a moving company. Uh, my boss, he's the contractor. And we're, we're talking, we're back and forth, chopping it up, you know, Pacoima, Hanson Dam. And he was like, oh, yeah, by the way, I have a friend that uh, his daughter just won a, a civil suit. An LAPD officer, uh, I guess, uh, uh, pulled up Hanson Dam. It was her and some of her friends. And that dude just came off his clothes. <laughs> I was like, whoa, wait a minute. How many, how many times, I mean, do you hear an LAPD officer, like I said, coming off his fucking uniform? I was like, equally, I think I was there, bro. He was like, yeah, man, I forgot the amount of money she got, but I know she bought her dad a house. She bought a few cars. She was set, bro. She came up with, with a good amount of money. And I was like, whoa, wait a minute, man. Now I want my fucking cut. Shit, chingo. Wow. But um, yeah, it was kind of funny at the time. Here we are, many years go by, and I'm chilling with my boss, moving on with my life. And I and now I look back and he and he's telling me now, okay, yeah, my friend, uh, his daughter won a lawsuit. She came up, this, you know, 
alleged LEPD stripper and whoopty woo. I'm all like, oh shit, damn, homie. Wow, what a small world. That bitch came up. She fucking snaked that cop as she as she should. Shit. Come on. Hey. I forgot her name. I know if I see her, I know what she looks like. Well, it's been many years. We all look different. But hey, hey, if you ever see this video, homegirl, or whoever knows this this young lady, or now maybe a little older. <laughs> hey man, what's up? Look out. <laughs> hey, puro pelo, puro pelo. Hey, she already probably went through that money like shit. Real quick. M money nowadays don't really last dollars worthless yeah so yeah that's my story right there stories in 40s lapd officer coming out his fucking uniform talking about oh this is just a uniform i want to have fun an ongoing investigation a lawsuit pending the the girl won the civil suit and she came up with a big amount of money that there's yeah, poor ass in every man. fucking ever guy. Not even a dollar, bro. Chingo. Equally. <laughs> All right, now. My name is Manny. I'm the Jaguar Man. This is Stories in 40s, homie. You guys have a good day. What's your status, homie? You active and sick. Hell yeah. Su. Su. Tres, yo, ma.